Dwayne Els is an American portrait figurative and landscape painter. His work is inspired by his love of the great masters of the past. He strives to find beauty, emotion, and essence in the human figure and in nature, combining traditional methods balanced with contemporary art styles. His mother, an oil painter, exposed him to the fine arts early and enrolled him in painting and drawing classes at the age of 10. L studied art and design at California State University Northridge, Humboldt State University, and our own Ventura College in California. He's an avid learner and continues to grow in, through online courses and videos dedicated to artistic improvement. Els has won several awards for his portrait paintings, including third place in the prestigious Portrait Society of America members competition this past year. He works out of his studio in Ojai. And he has his website at ells.com, which is E-E-L-L-S.com. So Dwayne. I'm gonna I'm gonna type that in the chat and um E-E-L-L-S dot com. That simple? Okay. That's simple. All righty. So Dwayne, do you do you also teach? Uh, you're on mute if you are. Yeah. Um oh yeah, you're on mute. Okay, well, I'm gonna unmute you. Okay. Ask to unmute. Okay, I think he's thinking we're going to be a couple more minutes here. No, I'm here. Can you hear me? No, I can hear you. Great. Okay, okay. So these are the bugs of the bazoom. We're learning and we're doing a better job than we were last month. So let's just be okay. Careful. Yeah, to answer your question. No, I've never taught. This oh. will be the closest thing I've ever got to teaching anything. So we'll, well see how it goes. Well, thank you. And uh, I know that there are a couple of people who have their materials already to try to paint along with you. And, oh, how fun. Um, so that'll be, that'll be fun. If, those are, if you're doing that and you'd like to share what you create tonight, then let us know. Um, I mean, you know, when we're done, we're gonna talk a little bit, hang out. And if you're in a show that's not represented or if you wanna show your work here to the other people who are our guests after Dwayne is done, then um, by all means, get ready to screen share because at seven, we'll do that. So with no further one more ado, thing. let me say one yeah. more thing to to those who may or may not be Zoom veterans. Obviously, we're not, but I do know one thing. If you're going to try and follow along with Dwayne's um, a demo here, you'll need to put it on speaker view, which means whoever's speaking, they come up larger in the middle. Um, right now, I'm on the other view, which means uh, a gallery view, which means little pictures everywhere, and it doesn't and nobody is real large. So if you're on gallery view, you want to be on speaker view and you'll find that up in the upper right hand corner of your screen where it says view, click on that and check, put the check mark next to speaker view. And then the person who is speaking will become larger on the screen. And we want that to happen when Dwayne starts talking. So that's it. Yeah. I'm gonna mute me. Alrighty. Well, with that, you can you can go. Yep, she's muted. And so, Dwayne, it's yours. Okay, go here I go. Um, first of all, George is up. I'm gonna um. This uh, Deborah's doing the camera. She's gonna take a, a pan over my studio, and just so you could take a look, I just put these up today so you could see what I've been working on in the um, fast. Uh, faces series. I, I, my portraits usually take 30 to 40 hours. I thought I would just try to do, you know, 12 by 16 portraits, uh, like within three hours. So that's my goal. Um, and uh, this one of that's coming here of me, that took like 40 hours. That's a big one. This is our model, George, who's kind enough to come here and sit with us. And um, so we're going to uh, get started here. Um, I have a quick question, the camera person. Um, my screen that I'm recording is small into the corner, so I can't go in and out of what I'm recording. How do I change that? Mm, that looks pretty good. We see you, Michelle. Are you, can but you I, I can't phone? zoom in or zoom out, and I wanted to go into detail or... Can you walk forward, or are you mounted so you can't move the camera? Well, I... I, in every practice, I was able to, so it must be stuck on some recording. Okay. We, we have you as, 
Maybe I, we need I to pin this. I have you as the oh, it needs to be pinned. That's what's wrong. I think I am. Are you're? We're getting you. We're getting everything you do. And it, the only time I appear on camera is when I'm speaking, and then the camera. Uh, that's why I'm not. Okay. Speaking. Well, I can't do detail. That's unfortunate. What? What? What's going on? Because I can't zoom in and zoom out because this needs to be the full screen like it usually is. I don't know what changed it. Well, you can see there what happened. You can zoom in, zoom out. It just will look kind of interesting. Well, I no, it's not that. As I can't zoom in and zoom out the way I've been doing in all practice. I can't either. You need I to pin yourself. I think okay. I don't know how to so, enlarge your screen. To my screen. Kathleen, in the upper right hand side, it says view. Right. right. So, it doesn't show it on ours. I have speaker view, which I have. Yeah. Okay. That's what you put it on, and it and um. The only and other it's not large enough it's still small meeting okay. setting yeah, minimize meeting background mouse, and none of that hey, right, right now i'm going to suggest we just move on and, and um okay it's going to be beautiful and deborah okay. if you could figure out how yeah, to that's because you could i can see what you see so but you'll let you'll just have to move the camera back and forth so anyway this is 12 by 16 this is uh, oil prime lynn and i write these sheets for this and i i put a little um background cool colors in it um over here's my palette. I'll kind of go over what I have here. Uh, titanium white. I'm basically going to use titanium white, yellow ochre, cad red, alizarin crimson, transparent oxide red, ultramarine blue, asphaltum, and uh, maybe some black too. Um, and I might pick up some of these yellows and other things in here. So I'm just going to get started. Um, and what I typically do is I'll start with a single tone, a brown tone. That's what I use asphalt tone for. Oh, and I'm just going to ramble on and talk and kind of tell you my thought process as I do this. Anyone wants to ask questions, feel free just to speak up and ask me, and I'll do my best to answer. And um, Deborah's going to move the camera to George and to this and to the, uh, when I'm mixing paint to that, back and forth thing. So George, can you look up that? So down a little? Yeah, just yeah, keep your pose there. So what how, typically what I do is I use a, uh, you know, with the asphalt, I'm going to start with stand oil. It gives it a good texture versus, um, you know, gamsol or something. And I just do the main, main forms. I'll look at George and I'll say, okay, that's like that. And I might like, sometimes I just paint them in the air. And I'm just going to do the, the main forms like that and try to get, you know, where, where the eyes are here. And looking in right now, what I try to do is just mass in the shapes and try to get the right proportions of things. And they may not, you know, we'll do the details later, but the most important thing to me anyway is to um, get your purport, get your mass, mass of shapes in first and get your proportions uh, proper. And then uh, from there you go in and do the details. So I'm kind of looking at George and seeing that, that's good, that one goes more like that. I'll, um, one thing good about this, if you make a little mistake, go, yeah, just, there you go. And then, um, so I'm just gonna slow down and slowly start putting in the things I'm using a pretty large brush for this because I just want to get the basic masses in. I can't do e details in the eyes, so I'm just like getting the sockets in, trying to. George, here, follow me. Over here, look over here, up, up, up. There. Okay, if you just look at me like that, that's good. It's got to keep it all the same, and then, and then. So once one thing is done. Once you get one of the shapes, and then you what? It's kind of a relative. Um, I can't think of the words. But relative uh, proportions. So you could, uh, if, if the nose is the right size, then you could use that size of the nose to determine where everything is. Like if the butt, if the nostrils there, you can see there's an angle there, and the end of the nostril is the beginning of the eye, and that sort of thing. And then I'm, but I'm just kind of dropping in. The main shapes now. Um, Duane, when yeah. you do you measure using your brush? You're holding your brush out, and you 
kind of use that as a measuring stick? I'm I'm not measuring it with it. I'm just I'm just looking at the axes and the angles with that. Yeah. I'm measuring with my with my eyes only at this point. I'm not really physically like saying this is I might when I get in later into it say, okay, the nose is this big and and from the nose to the bridge of the nose is this is the same as this height up to there to the hairline. So I might I might do that later, but right now I'm just kind of um, trying to uh, get in I have a the I have shape a as close as possible. I have a question. Is there any way to have like a split screen so we can see what George looks like? Oh well Deborah will like? kind of go and go back go to go back and forth, but I don't know how I don't we know because we only got one camera here, so we'll get you. Okay. We'll try to go back and forth a little bit. So if you're, I understand if you're painting along, that might be an issue. So anyway, I'm just going to slowly mass in these shapes, try to get the proportions proper, try to get the planes proper. And uh, I'm just going to. Can you go back to George for a moment? Yeah. There's a little there you go. Yeah. So, and one thing you could do with these paper towels is you can pretty much draw with them. You can erase with them. And uh, at the bottom, the nose trying to get this line here. And the hope is when we're all said and done, it winds up looking somewhat like George. This is a little too. Looks like him already. Well, thank you. Don't tell George that. Well, he hasn't seen this, but. <laughs> um, so after uh, I'll I'll start with this big brush, and after that, I'm gonna I'll I'll go to, with a smaller brush, and uh, looking at these shapes. One important thing is like the shape between here and there. I often would make that too big and his face would be out of proportion. So the, the, the space here on his filtrum there and his, uh, his nose. Another thing that I use sometimes to help clean up areas is I use a cotton swab and just go, go across like that. Just kind of looking at these shapes here. Looking how the planes turn on. The light's coming up from here on them. So is like that. So it's going to like hit him there. It's going to get a, you know, his, his, his hairline goes way back here. So you're going to get some whites, high, highlights there, highlights here, highlights here, highlights here. And then as, as the form turns away from the light, it's going to get darker. Like this space is going to be more of a half tone. This will be more of a highlighted area. And then right typically where the top of the eyebrow goes up and it turns, that's going to be where the skull turns. So that's a, that's a good spot. That's a spot to where the form changes, the plane changes. So you're gonna do that. That's a little too much. His, his hairline is about a little too, yeah, thanks. Um, there, so it, it usually, I'll go through this stage. It'll take me about the first hour because I think the idea is to get the, um, for me is to get the drawing with a single tone down first, because it's a lot easier than trying to do that with color. And the last thing you want to do is to, uh, um, George, oh, yeah, thanks. Last thing you want to do is to paint a beautiful eye and find out it's a quarter inch off. So it looks like someone else. So it's really important to me to go through this. And I, I take pretty quick brush strokes when I do this. And it's, it's drawing to me is just making a bunch of mistakes and fixing them pretty much because um, nothing really comes out perfect, you know, uh, in the beginning, at least not for, for me. Some people can do that, but it's just, it's, it's actually a measuring drawing. If the nose is one size, then everything else you kind of figure out where it's going to go. So, um, and I'm going to just, um, you know, broad shapes his, um, yeah, his uh, neckline's there. This is going down there. That's coming across here. His neckline starts right here, across there. 
So that's what I'm measuring when I do this, just the where things are going and where things line up. And then I'll I'll put that there. And now his right below his little jaws are that's where this 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 goes down. So I'll try to like mouse in these areas and see how that works out. And then it's just a matter of like cleaning things up here. So I kind of start slowing down up a little, George. That's it. Now look at me. There. Okay. So you look for where the lights are and the darks are. This whole side of his face is pretty well dark. So it's okay just to put in a big mass of dark there. And then this whole neck area is dark as well. And then the light, the socket here, the orb is right here. Then this looks about right. This looks George up in there. Yeah, thanks. And then, uh, you know, you, I'm kind of measuring the space between here and there. And it, it's, it's kind of going like this. And then it cuts in here. This is his zygomatic arch. And it, it's kind of highlight there because the, the light's hitting it there. And it's casting where it's turning away. So there's a little shadow here. So those are the things you need to be aware of. That's what I'm aware of when I'm painting is how the light's hitting the object. Um, uh, so I'm gonna... It's... Uh, is... Ear starts about here. And it ends about right between there. It kind of flips down there, then it overlaps there. Maybe not. It goes out and then gets a little closer to the body there. And then right where the lobe ends, it his jawbone turns in towards his turns in towards his chin. And then there's a little bit of a jolly type thing here. And the, the, the jawbone is actually going there, but there's a little skin going across there. And this is going here. This line here is a little close. And then um, I'm going to go in here and Right now, I'm going to go in with a little um, smaller brush. And I'm going to uh, put in a little more, try to get a little more details like this nostril there. Just, and, and the nostril, because it's just a dark spot, it's like a note that you see. Uh, you do color notes, you could do light and dark notes. So you know that that, you get these two together, then you kind of got the, beginning of the nose is just figuring out the little wing where that starts here. And what, what I usually do at this stage is I kind of start in the middle of the face, which is about the nose. Because if I, as I said before, if I get the nose in the right space, then I can figure out where everything else goes in proportion to the nose. So uh, I'm gonna kind of work on the nose. I should put my glasses on. Um, uh, you could use these brushes also. This has nothing on it, but it kind of helps to scrape away some of the, the paint. Now you could see this light, there's a light shape here and I just paint, you know, that one, that's good, light shape. And then that light goes flying down here and it looks more like a half tone. And then right here on his nose, this goes in there. Try to get the bottom of that. That's there, and then, and sometimes I'll when I'm looking at the nose, I'll actually draw almost outline the shape of it because it's, because the the way the light hits it, the value changes are pretty subtle from the top of the nose to here because the light's coming down here. There, there, it's a little dark here. So, but I'll I'll kind of try to look at the bones that kind of goes out there, and then he's got his shape like that. It's got uh, that nostril and then 
And here is, I'm going to kind of, you, know, you could just stay as you are, George, known that one look, yeah, right there, that works. So we're getting this here, this, don't think so. You want to make sure that your axis is right. Another thing you need to do is step away for a bit and take a look and because that's really how you're going to see whatever errors you have there. And there's always going to be errors. And then I'm going to take this and I'm going to brush away because there's a you know, there's light coming in here. And one thing I do is I kind of start in one spot and then I don't, I may not finish it. Then I, I'll go to another spot if I, because, you know, in your mind, you might get a little frustrated. Uh, go, so this, this looks easier. So you go there, but um, so you see that this goes in here and it's, Going down there and right, right here, down there is where this kind of turns on the lip. And there's a little, this little fold here. And then there's this fold here, the sheet fold, and there's a little bit is a little space here. Then you've got that there, and there you go. That's yeah. I'm trying to get the. You just remember, you've got these axes you got to deal with. So this this line between the eyes, the nose, lips, this, this brow all need to be parallel to each other. So I'm going to go in and draw the uh, try to draw the lips a little more accurately. He's got a pretty strong little angle here. Then it kind of goes. In there, then you kind of go. That goes like that. Then I'm going to go in and erase a little up in here. It's a little too. Um, I need another brush. A little, a little smaller. I'm trying to capture this detail. Sometimes I use the canvas as my mall stick, but. So you can see it's kind of like a lot of trial and error. Trying to get the same, I'm trying to get a little more, you know, more detail in there now. Got the big masses in. I could see that his, uh, that I, I made it, I, I put a couple pounds on him, on his face, because this, Right here, add up a little bit. So this space here is. I'm gonna redo the ear. His his face is fairly thin, so I'm gonna redo that part, and this part goes there. So that's getting closer to his actual proportions of his face. His chin isn't so big, so I'm gonna like. Okay, so this is the bottom of the lip, and this little cast shadow here uh, is not as big as I had it. And then it kind of like goes around here. He's got a little cleft there, and it ends there, ends there. So you got this deep shadow in his, on his neck. This is kind of going, uh, to put this up a little bit. There. That's going to be there. Uh, it's kind of square, but it's not as wide as I had it. It kind of goes in here. And then right where this goes in, I'm looking at that angle. This angle is in the corner of his lip is there. This Deborah, angle. Deborah, could you pan over to the model and show us that for a moment and hold on him? Just hold it for a moment. 
helpful. Thank you. By the way, Laura has been, Laura Jesperson has been kind enough to take a photo of George and post it, a screenshot and post it in the chat. So perhaps oh, right. people can put the screenshot up on their screen cool. as well as our demo here. Hey, that's cool. That's, that's great. Right. Thank you, Laura. Thanks, Laura. Yeah, that's great. Okay, this is starting to get a little more accurate. Uh, just look at the way the light hits thing. There's uh, basically two types of shadows. There's a shadow where, because the form's turning, like right here, you know, the light's hitting that, the form's turning, so it's just in the dark. It's just not getting light. Then there's a cast shadow, which on his nose, you can see that, that it's hitting it, and it's because it's hitting an object, so it's throwing a shadow there. So you've got to deal with each of right under his lip here. That's really a cast shadow because it's not getting light, but it's but the light from hitting the upper lip is throwing a shadow here. It's also throwing a shadow on part of his top upper lip, showing a little shadow on his uh, upper lip, and then uh, I mean on his lower lip, and then right here is kind of where the uh, darkness begins, and that. It, his face is still, let me see here. Uh, work a little more. This, this, this is actually going out more like that. This, it goes here, it's a little, shallow's kind of going like that, so. All right, there, there, okay. It's kind of refining things here. Let's see, no, that's... Can, can everybody else see this um, other added photo in the middle of the screen or is that just my screen? Yeah, but I can't, we can't see Dwayne anymore. can't hear you. Yeah, yeah Dwayne's not painting anymore in the video, I mean. I can't even see anything. Yeah, I don't know why I'm getting this um, photos thing. Whose is that? Is that the Laura? The person who shared the photo? Is it Margaret shared? Members? Laura? Margaret's you... screen. There, there, there it is. We go. Now we're getting you. That's good. Now I'll get back to Dwayne and make him spotlight. There we go. Okay. Cool. Well, that was exciting. New thing to see. Yes, I still have this a little too, too long. So it's, sometimes it becomes a little struggle to get the drawing right, but we're gonna get close. Okay. Get this. It'll kind of subtract some of the colors in there. Kind of get this little highlight in there. Going to start with a smaller brush. I'm trying to get a little more detail in here. The proportions kind of seem like they're getting there somewhat. Okay. I'm gonna make this really, really dark, trying to make this really dark here. It'll bring them up a little bit. This right here 
there's really not a lot of there's a little light hidden under there and then this little jaw is here goes up there okay All right, I'm going to stand back and take a look here. Okay, I'm going back into more refinements. This will probably be another 10 minutes of this part, then we'll start going into color. It, it looks really great. So you're capturing them. Oh, I appreciate that. Thank you. I hope so. <laughs> I haven't done this before, so I kind of feel a little, little, uh, little strange, but that's okay. Um, see, it's like, you know, this. there's really no outlines in nature, so oh, that was too much. I'm trying to, I'm, I'm just going to get rid of that because, okay, yeah, so that was, that was a problem. That was just too much, so this is here, and then this is about right. Compared to this, is going to this little uh, fold from the lip, from the lips there. You know, it's 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 going in there and it's up a little dirt. It's going right there, and so and then he goes. It's going down and getting closer in there. So because he's he has a very a fairly thin face, so I don't want to do him. And and quite, a quite a pronounced chin. He does, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. And so it's, but it's, it, the thing is, I'm kind of looking at, yeah, the, the proportions and stuff. I think is his forehead's like there. I'm starting to feel better about it now, but it's always like this. It's always, you know, when to me, painting drawings a big fight of George, and it's just like, uh, you know, a struggle to get it done right. And it's oftentimes, often during the process, you just want to give up on it. I don't feel that way now, but I did two minutes ago. <laughs> <laughs> but, if you don't feel like that, I don't think uh, you're an artist. I, I always feel like that in the middle of something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, when uh, we well, raffle, we're, we're going to raffle away uh, a couple of those three things that you gave us. Oh, great. Uh, what, what should we do first? You tell me. You keep working. And uh, at well, some point, why don't just... you do the etchings first, and then the um, I think they're oh, do I do uh, do the Fisher and the Tree of Her Affection first. Okay, first. Okay. Save so the I'm... save the best for last. Okay, yeah, that's a really beautiful portrait. Um, okay, so I'm gonna I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna probably share the screen with you, and uh, I'm just gonna zip okay. in and zip out. So you keep on working if you like, and I don't want to stop you. I just want to. I'll keep on working. I get okay. to be quiet for a while. All right, you're doing good, George. Thanks. This is little half tones there. Okay, I got here. I'm gonna. Can you? Could they hear me? Can you hear me? Yeah, we, yeah, we can hear you. You keep on. Oh. I, I haven't done anything yet, really. Oh, yeah. okay, good. I'll, I'll keep uh, muttering. Any questions? Feel free to ask. I'm open for suggestions. Any suggestions? What I'm doing here is trying to get this highlight of the snows here. Uh, with that, to get right in here, I'm putting it on a little thinner because this is kind of a almost like a half tone. It kind of starts like there, and then it gets super dark as it turns here. And, and right, are people can people see these the screen? Tell let me know. You can can you see this wheel? This um, yes, the wheel is showing. Wheel thing? Okay, so uh, I'm going to spin again because I I didn't think. Okay, here we go. So this is the uh, for the fisherman, and I'll show you what that looks like. Ah, Laura. Laura Walter, where are you? Laura? 
<laughs> you don't need to see that, right? You need to. <laughs> okay. You don't need to see that, huh? Okay. Okay. Well, I was so talking to George. Oh. <laughs> you distracted him. Oh, did I? I almost had, I almost switched it to a profile. Okay. Um, Sharon, you can hear me? That, um, I don't know if you can hear me or not, but I'm hoping. Because uh, Laura Walter won the. Um, yes, I am. I'm listening, and I'm writing down Laura's name as we speak. Congratulations, Laura! Yay! And I'm going to show you what you won in about three seconds. Let's see. Maybe. Takes a little longer. Actually, I'm gonna pop this up a little more. So, if I do the screen share, let's see. I'm gonna share this. Oh yeah. Oh, there. Oh, down on that. Perfect. That's perfect. Can Can you see this? Can you see the fisherman? Anybody? You can't. No. Okay. No fisherman. No fisherman, but you can see Duane painting, right? Yes. Okay, good. As long as that's happening while I'm kind of figuring this out, I'm going to show you. I'd like to show you what, what, uh, there we go. And share that. How about that? Yes. Great. Well, Laura, that's what you want. It's an etching. Um, I don't know what the number is on the bottom of this one, but um, it's, this is a Duane Ells and it's framed. So this is amazing that you, you get a, uh, and we have two more, two more gifts like this and a few art supplies. So we'll go back to Duane. I just wanted to show you what Laura, Laura won. There you go. Okay, I am about to get to, well, not quite to color. I'm, I, I noticed there's light hitting under George there. So I'm gonna highlight that. Uh, there's light hitting George up a little bit in there. Yeah, that's good. You see this light off the eyes, his, uh, his left eye coming down here and doing that. Um, I'm gonna like try to focus on getting the nose a little more. What, one thing when you're drawing these things, when the light, when light hits an object, it creates what's called a core shadow or a terminator where it's really the darkest spot of the shadow. So what, what a little, I don't know if it's a trick, it's just showing reality. But if you make this part really super dark here, right where the light hits it, I want to say yeah. hi to Jason. Jason just walked in, and Jason is one of the organizers of the first Friday. So I just want to acknowledge yeah. him. Great. Welcome, Jason. So keep going. I'm sorry. I don't mean to okay. interrupt. No, no, that's fine. So when you put this terminator here, it kind of it, it creates these three yeah. planes. You got a yeah. plane here and a plane going down there. This here, you can see that there's a little bit of a change the color here this is this top of the nose is getting a lot more light than the than george's right side of the nose so i'm gonna like i'm gonna like just highlight that as you can see it's pretty you know rough sketching then i'm gonna let, go and put a little like half tone on here sometimes i'll just i'll draw like this and, and then i'll actually draw the side of it and so you can see that because it does get a little, little half tone going here, under the, uh, you know, the bottom of the orbit of his eyes got a little bit of a skin there. And his up a little, George. Yeah. And then I don't always start, but then I, I usually just draw around the eyeballs. His eyes it start the um, the corner of his eye starts about on both of them, right? above his nostril, little wings there, and then it's kind of going down at an angle like this. Same on that one. And so you, uh, I'm trying to get some sort of semblance of where that is. And this kind of drawing the pupil here. He's got really bushy eyebrows, which is great. And they come around here, they turn here. Now, another thing that you see, you may not see, is the lights hitting here. And it, it's another change of form here as it's turned, as you know the the skull well i have a skull there if you want to look but the skull here right here it starts to turn and usually it's right around where 
you know, there's this bony outcrop that holds the eye socket, and then it starts to turn here. And so if you, uh, so I put a little half tone there. That's too, uh, too dark, but the light's still hitting it, but it's going, moving away from the light more so than this is. This is really prominent, this arch area here. And then this area here, there's, if I, see the zygomatic arch is going here and it's creating a, um, a shadow and then light's picking up here. So you lighten that up a little bit and you're getting the light. So I'm gonna, um, I'm gonna work on this. This, this, this. As you can see, this part here is bugging me. So I'm gonna um, just spend a, a couple of minutes trying to get this drawing a little bit. What I'm gonna do is draw his shirt, his neck, comes right there. And then it kind of goes down there. And then it, this, uh, I've got this muscle goes, it goes down to his clavicles. And then this here, it's gonna go down there. The, his shirt, here then, his shirt kind of cuts across there. Um, should use a little bigger breath. Cause you still wanna try to mass everything in. Um, and there is not a lot of shadow really under here because a little, uh, little neck thing kind of is popping. Actually, as you have the shadow in the wrong place here. So I look at now the shadow, the dark shadow for this little, little fatty area around his neck goes, starts here and then it goes, about that kind of angle, so. And then it pops in there. And then it actually has light throughout here. So. And then this here. Yeah. You're doing a nice job, Deborah. Oh, thank yeah, you. Thank you. Camera work. Yeah. It's tough. Yeah. Yeah, it's not easy. Being a camera operator ain't, ain't easy, but it's you're doing a good job. You want to switch? <laughs> it's a lot easier. <laughs> um, okay, this is going to go up here. I've been in Georgia a few times. I think the first time was maybe 15 years ago. If anyone so. has any questions, you can either just shout them out or better yet, put them in the chat. And I'm looking at the chat all the time and I can read them if you have a question. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and just say, I would typically maybe work a little longer on this, but because we have limited time, I'm going to go ahead and start uh, calling this fairly good. This is a little, um, I keep saying that, then I see something. This needs to, you see, is, this is getting a lot of light because it's almost getting to the, you know, the topper part of his top edge of his head, but this, Makes them look. His hair's kind of. Let's see here. Uh, okay, so. So when when you have locked it down, uh, Deborah will take a pic. Well, kind of give us a shot straight on the way you're seeing it, Dwayne. And okay. I'm gonna picture that when you're ready. That sounds good. Now, one thing to do when you draw, like the most important thing is try to remember to, I think I said this earlier, try to remember to squint because that just, what it does is it helps you see the true masses of the, um, the true masses of the, of the shapes as you're kind of navigating around the head and trying to find the right, um, you know, the right planes and making sure everything's in the right, position. I, I told that to my eye doctor one time and he said, oh no, you shouldn't be squinting. And I tried to explain it's the way to see the masses or the bigger forms. Exactly. Yeah. He, he wanted to give me glasses because of that. He says, well, if you're squinting, you need glasses. Oh. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs>
Okay, so again, up here, like on, a, on, on this, where this is hitting the light, it starts here. And this is another core shadow. So this should be really super dark. And it's okay to exaggerate it. And then it's gonna go, and then, you know, you can kind of feather it around there a little bit. And then that might be a little too thick, but it gets the point across. And then they, so I'm, I'm just gonna go ahead and start to um, start with color. But before I do that, I, I always, I don't want it to look blotchy. So what I do is I take a brush, I take this, uh, I take Gamsol and I kind of like spritz it on this little chip brush that I have. And it kind of, you can, you gotta be careful. You can really mess things up, but I kind of like follow the, the form a little bit just to get everything blended a little bit. And, you know, and sometimes make his hair a little wild. That, that doesn't need to be there anymore. Um, another thing you can do for effect, sometimes I do it, I won't do it now, but you can spray that Gamsol there. And this is on oil prime linen, so it gives you this nice little, little effect that, and then you could go and brush out through that. And I'm not gonna do it on the painting and it's, you know, I, I don't suggest doing it for the sake of doing it, but it's kind of fun. That's one thing, you know, I'm, I just, I throw acetone on, acetone on this and I throw a denatured alcohol and try all sorts of different tools while during this fast basis thing. And, and those make a really nice little drop and it dries real quick because it's air, air dries really fast. Yeah, so it does make but you can also effect. see how it's how it made him, you know, his chin got lost. So you got to be careful <laughs> when you do this sort of thing. Um, so anyway, well, actually, I'm going to. I'm gonna, uh, uh, Dwayne, you have a you have someone asking if you're um, if you teach portrait painting or charcoal portrait classes. So and I, that's from I, that I know I never have. People have <laughs> asked consider it, you know, you'll get, yeah so, yeah. so, okay. I'm going to just go ahead and go right to, um, color and Deborah will get in close to this and then she'll, I'll clean up the palette a little bit. Okay. I'll, I'll get some colors. And while you're doing that, I'm going to open up a box of art supplies that I bought for, okay. for a giveaway and I'm going to unpin you and then, um, we'll give something away. Right. Okay. And uh, you know who knows when they George. Exactly. Okay, George, you need a break. You want to get up for a little bit, walk around. We'll give George a chance to get up and walk around here. Okay. Here. He was here since I just could. No telling when when the screen is. I, every so often I see this unpinning and pinning. Does oh anybody, really? Anybody want to tell me where I can find pinning? Video oh. set. I think it's on the. On the top of your, oh maybe, huh? Or the top right, I believe, one of those three buttons, I believe. Michelle, if you look, if you look at the upper right of the uh, the photo, the picture you look at, you want to pin, you'll see yeah. three dots. Click on that. Oh, I see what you're saying. Okay, hold on then. I got it. And then if I want to unpin one, then that's the thing to do. I'll get good at this, and maybe someday. Well, we have a good a good group here today. Well, let's see. There's a button that says "Remove Spotlight um, Pin," kind of to the upper left. Well, here's an ad spotlight. That'll work for me. Well, there you go. Okay, so this it works is real well. We have got a box of art supplies. Mm -hmm. and open it right here. And uh, so, those of you who are here, I entered your name on that wheel of names. Oh, there's, hi, oh, there's, hi, Gerald. You're just in time. I should add your name. We're gonna add, uh, add Gerald's name. Um, let's see. Yeah. Okay, so that's that. So now we're gonna, I'm gonna spin this. Can you see me? Folks, can you? Yes, can see you. I'm, gonna, I'm gonna spin it and then whoever wins is gonna get to pick something they might want in this 
Candy, candy box of stuff. They can see you, but not the spinner. Okay. Leslie. Leslie Clifton. Oh, Lynn, Lynn Dow. Okay, oh, Lynn. Oh, no, I'm sorry. <laughs> I thought it said Leslie, but it says, it's telling me it's Lynn. So did, can you, you can see this okay? We don't see a spinner, we only see you. Oh, yeah. gosh. And now Dwayne. Okay. And now you. I, okay. She's you, whoever talks to it. So yeah. first, that's why she sees you. So yeah. I have to trust you that it says Lynn. Lynn's, yeah. It, Lynn well, Dow? It does. it does. Yeah, I'm gonna do it again the right way, but right now I'm gonna I'm gonna do it. So Lynn, where are you? Can you I'm here. I'm a new oh. member. Oh, you're a, a new member of uh, BAA? Yes. Oh, cool. Welcome. Thank yeah. you. Wonderful. So let's let's see, where are you? I'm looking. I'm looking for you. Are you uh, visible? Yep. Yes. Lindau. I'm looking for your name here. Maybe I'll just put you on gallery. Okay. Now, if you'll wave your arms, wave your arms. I can add spotlight to her. There she goes. There, go. there she is. Oh, there you are. Hi, Lynn. Okay, Hi. so you have a choice. Can you see? You can. You can kind of see this stuff. I think your camera's a little low res, Michelle. Well, that's life. I'm sorry. Too <laughs> bad. Okay, so you have. Do you work with acrylics? Yeah, I do. I work with acrylic and watercolor. So, okay, so we have we have a, a little a set of acrylics, or a palette, or a pack of a sixteen piece pack of brushes. Wow! And then I'll we take, have I'll take the brushes. That's hard to turn down. The brushes, okay. Yes. Fifteen. Thank you piece very much. Of All right, I I'm will artist. brush as fast as I can. for the brushes. Fifteen, fifteen piece brushes. That'll okay. last a while. Linda. So I'm gonna Thank I'm gonna give this to Sharon and Sharon's gonna mark it up and take it over to the Harbor Gallery at some point, right, Lynn? I mean Sharon. Yes, that's yeah. that cool. will be the opportunity for pickup at our Harbor Village Gallery. Okay. Okay. And then should we do one more of uh, let's do one of Dwayne's things as long as he's in the middle of a change. Give him a moment to take a little break. And um you know, I'm not great at this, but I'm not the worst. So, okay. So we're going to, the next one is, uh, there's a painting that Dwayne did. And I think this is a uh, Giclée of that painting. And it's called the, um, the tree of her affection. And if I can show it to you. Oh, so. Not sure where it is. Well, okay. We're going to spin anyway. And, and you'll have to believe me. It's, it's pretty cool. <laughs> Um, let's see. So I'm going to share the screen. I'm going to look for. Ah, there it is. Okay. Can you see? You can see the see that, right? Everybody can yes. see the screen. Okay, and you can see the wheel. Yes. So here we go. Okay, Yvette, is Yvette here? Yvette Franklin? You have to be present to win. Uh-oh, I can't hear you. Yvette, if you're here, could you write her name down? Let's look for her. If she's here right now, we'll give it to her. If not, we'll spin again. Uh, I think I see... Uh, oh, there's Yvette, Yvette Franklin in the, in the face of some a guy with a beard and a cap. Yeah, uh, if, I don't think if, it's Yvette, but no, it's okay. He close won. enough. <laughs> yeah, let's see. Richard, is that Richard? What's Richard? Can you unmute? Can you unmute Richard? There you go. So is Yvette here? There's Yvette. Oh, hi, yeah. Yvette. Yeah. You you want to you want to uh uh a photo of a clay of a paint of a of a tree and it's a framed i'm trying to find a way to show it to you oh here it is wait okay so you probably can't see that can you see the tree um can't, can't see it have to share <laughs> okay i'm going to share it i i think i figured this thing out i have to go out and then back okay so here we go this is the tree that you won this is um, Dwayne. Oh. Can you hear us right now? 
Yeah, I can hear you. Dwayne? That's beautiful. So you want to tell yeah, us a little a, bit about this tree? Yeah, that wow. was a commission I did. It was uh, someone's, it was the, he and his wife's uh, 40th, or I don't know what year it was, her anniversary. And this is a tree that's in um, Newberry Park. And he said that his wife just loves that tree. And every time she goes to work and comes home, she stops to look at it. So oh. he commissioned me to paint this. And it was, the original was 30 by 40 inches. And uh, that's why it's called the tree of her affection, because that's what he called the tree. <laughs> so, wow. But it's, so is that beautiful. That, wow. Um, Sharon, uh, if you can put your contacts in the chat for Sharon or Sharon, do you know how to get in touch with Yvette? Uh, I probably could track her down, but <laughs> Yvette, if it, you don't mind putting uh, your email address in, uh, in the chat. No, I don't mind. Okay, good. Be great. So, then you'll be able to coordinate and then pick it up over at the Harbor Gallery. So that'll work. Okay, out. wonderful. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, you're welcome. Welcome to the club. That's really cool. All right. So we're going to go back to Duane. And then in a little while, I'll interrupt. I hope it's not too invasive um, because it's kind of fun to win something. Wow, Duane, that looks like him. I was, um, I cheated while you guys were spinning the wheel. So. You did. Oh, I cheated. She just worked. <laughs> Gosh, it looks great. Hold on, that looks wonderful. Wow. Looking quite a bit like him. I'm sorry about my movement. I have a dog that is so happy underneath me. Is that so, Deborah, Deborah talking? Yes, yeah. I have you know, a dog underneath me. So every time I move the camera, she's like completely relaxed and trusting. So I can't move it gently and swiftly. I've got to move around oh. her. So I'm sorry. Oh. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna go into color now. Can so you tell us that we cheated? Oh, yeah, I cheated. Sorry. What did you? Yeah, do? I was working while you guys were talking. So what did you uh, do? Oh, okay. What I did wanted to show this, Deborah. Oh. I'll show you what. What I did is I just kind of uh, I made his chin a little narrower. I I kind of indicated the wings of his nose and his nostrils. I made, this is a little too dark, but I made that darker um, in there just to set them back more. And I worked on the drawing of this a little bit. And um, and that's it. I made it, made it a little thicker here because his face looked too long to me. So um, I, I think part of it is because this looks like the top of his forehead when it's, uh, this looks like the, where the forehead starts to turn here. This is actually, it starts to turn there. So what I'll do is when I put light in there or color, I'll make it so it, I'll try to get it so it turns from here back there. So that it looks more, so it doesn't look so tall because it looks more like him there than it does there. This is too tall. And so I'll, I'll, I'm gonna work on that later. And, and, see and what that's because you're seeing through the hair at that point. Right? Yeah, yeah. So what I do when I mix colors is um, I just start with one big mass of, of color. I gotta take some um, yellow ochre for this one. I'm gonna take cad red and start mixing those. And I'll mix this, this is gonna be more red here. And then I'll, I'll use a little more, a little less red here. So it'll be a warmer color there. And then um, this is just basically yellow ochre. What, then what I do is I just kind of start mixing things in here. And so the, I, for this, I'm gonna use um, yellow ochre as kind of the base, because I'm just using, this is some uh, uh, alizarin crimson, but it just gives you a little cooler color like that. And then um, I'm, gonna take, I'm gonna add a little bit of uh, transparent oxide red in there on all of these. And just to give me some, so I don't have to keep mixing all the time. And uh, oftentimes what I'll do is I'll mix a whole bunch of color and, and then create strings. By strings, if you don't know, it, it means it's starting from the basic uh, pure hue of the color and, and, and adding white to it in different you know, stages. I just take white and I, I smear it down there and I dip into that. This transparent oxide red is a kind of a nice color for, you know, things like for flash. I'll add a little bit of a, a you know, little white to that. I'll start adding a little white to all of this. This is kind of like my way of doing strings because I don't, don't, 
people they'll mix little piles and that would take too long and i don't i don't have i've never had the patience to do that so it works well so this from this color i got that from this color i got you know that this is a little and then so then I, I could go and I can dip into these and do stuff. Sometimes I'll use this. This is cad red or cad yellow uh, medium. And that, I'll, I'll just, I'm putting colors here to start mixing into other colors now. And I'll use ultramarine blue. I'll, I just like to mix a little bit of that. Um, this, uh, this is a rose, a permanent rose. That's always a good color. I just like to have them there and mix so I don't have to redo them. Uh, just uh, these other colors, this is uh, called a cad yellow something. I don't know. Yeah, the cad yellow light. I use that from time to time. Um, cad yellow light. This is actually cad yellow light. This is medium yellow ochre. Uh, this is um, cad yellow deep, vermilion, cad red, medium. Uh, Alizarin crimson rose, uh, permanent rose, transparent oxide red. This is magenta. This is a uh, a magenta. It really it's it's it this like mixes to nothing. If you mix it with white, it kind of just disappears. Is that Versus, a, say, is that a quinacetone? Yeah, so it just doesn't have a great saturation. So you got to be careful with that. Which is a different from this. This is called this is a vermilion, and this. You a little bit, you mix a little bit, it just in anything, it just never goes away. So, this is um, oh, these are the uh, th th these are uh, thalos blue and green. This is uh, viridian, and this is bandite brown, which is a kind of dark, cooler brown than the asphaltum, and that's hyperbun. And I may dip into them, I may not. What I so what I'm going to do now is I just start um, with doing mass massing in large colors, large spaces, and then I work from there. So I don't try to go in and you know do everything now. So I'm going to look at George, look at George, and try to get a basic skin color. And you put a little note there. That's a little too. Uh, eh, that's that's not bad. Add a little red to that one. Then mix a pile of that, and this is more like there. So what I try to do is keep these. That's a little too red. But what I'm trying to do is to just kind of basically, again with a large brush, block in large shapes of color. You know, it's tempting to go in there and try to. Um, you know, do all the color at this point, but it's best to have it, to me anyway, in here, and then you you work with it later. Because it, 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 it kind of gives you that, almost it gives you this little, you know, semi-finished feeling once you get like these things. And I'm not, I'm somewhat careful, but not as careful as I probably ought to be, but. Now he's got a lot of light on his neck. And so I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna like block that in like that. Kind of makes a nice little color. Um, over here, do we look up a turn? Yeah, yeah, yeah that's perfect. Um, he's got color here and it looks like, it looks light in real life, but it's actually, you know, because colors are relative. So it's actually a pretty, if, if I took this color here where the light's heading in this color, this would just look like a, a big hole. So I use a darker hole, darker color for these lights that are in the dark. Otherwise they'll just come at you because the colors are relative. By that I mean that, you know, colors appear the way they are relative to the colors they're, they're next to. So I'm gonna like, this is like the top of his forehead there. And then it comes down here. So I'm gonna start slowly um, putting in colors to show the shape. So you can see that this is a plane that's turned right here. 
I'm going to put a light color here because this is a very bright space. And sometimes it's a good idea to put a color note up here, like right here. That's dark. This is a very bright color. So I, I put in, you know, those those colors there. This I could probably, that's too bright, right? He's got a lot, a lot of light hitting him there. He's got light hitting him there. He's got a, so I'm just kind of going in and kind of, I guess he's got like a red coming in there. His uh, don't, yeah, don't don't curse. <laughs> this is um, really red in here. Either he shaved too close, or there's just uh, some the the you know the capillaries are closer to his skin. So like here, this is always going to be redder, basically here and around there. Just and the thin skin around the nose, it's going to be redder typically because of, you can see the blood, the, the more fleshy areas of the face, it, it's, it's not going to be as red. So, uh, so what I'm gonna do now is I, I'm gonna kind of like, this shadow is a little like too, uh, I'm gonna knock the shadow down a bit. Then I'm gonna kind of drop in the ear. The ear, I squint and look at the color is, uh, kind of a reddish color, but I'm gonna add just a touch of um, ivory black to this red, just cause it's gonna push it back a little bit. And I, I've had no problem with exaggerating color either. Cause you know, I'm not trying to paint a portrait as though it was a snapshot or a photo from your iPhone. I'm trying to paint, you know, something with more, a little more interest to it. So I'm going to go in and mix the quick blue for his shirt. Um, I'm, what I'm going to do is I'm going to mix some uh, a little Varinian, a little Asphaltum. Asphaltum's kind of a new color for me. I kind of used it instead of burnt umber. I kind of like it. I read somewhere where the Renaissance artists use it. So I said, hey, it's good enough for them. Good enough for me. This is Thalo blue, gonna lift that, that'll warm it up a little bit. Then I'm gonna grab some white here. That's probably too much and just kind of drop in. I'm gonna take a big brush here. I don't know if I have enough brushes. Okay, I'm gonna take this. This is probably too big, but what the heck. So I'm gonna take this and put it here now. The reason it's important to put this color in here now is because if you look at George, you can see that this color is the shirt is reflecting color up in his chin is reflected light, and up here it, it's it's shirt's kind of a teal color, a dark dark teal, and uh, and so it, it's 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 when it's hitting the skin, it's kind of turning green on this side, but it's kind of blue on that side. So you you kind of got to squint to see it. So I'm just going to kind of quickly knock in these colors, George here, boom, there, oh, there, back there, there you go. And then I'm right there. While you're doing that, I'm gonna do another giveaway of this color mixing wheel and the uh, okay. little uh, palette. Okay. I Keep hope I don't finish by the time you get back. Uh, yeah, I'm I kidding, that I'm ain't gonna happen. <laughs> It looks, it's, yeah, it's good. Can I talk or shall I talk or? This is good. Yeah, you can, you can talk, you can go and keep talking. Okay, his shirt really comes up way up there and it's that angle, so. And I'm not really trying to get accurate. I just wanted to look, I just want to. And we're gonna give away this. Oh, Gail's iPad. And so who is Gail? Is Gail here? G-A-Y-L-E-S. Is that person here? Sharon, can you find that? Um, if Gail's here. Can you hear me? Margaret, can you can you shake your head up and down if you can hear me? Hmm. Not a good sign. Let's see. There. So yeah, I you can, can hear you and I'm on. Hear me. Did um, 
I am on the hunt for Okay, so you're looking Gail. Gail. Gail, yeah. She may be somewhere else, so we'll just keep moving on and we'll we'll do it. We'll give another. So this is a, a color mixing wheel and a little palette. It's kind of cute. Okay, let's do it one more time. That makes such a difference. So here we go. This is we're spinning to win here. <laughs> D Graves. Who is D Graves? <laughs> if D Graves is here, unmute and let us know. I know people are coming in and going out because there are other things going on tonight, but to us, the most important one is here. Okay, I'm gonna remove D and I'm gonna keep moving. Let's see. Can you see the wheel? Yeah, good, okay. Yay, Ruby. Is Ruby here? Okay, keep moving on. If you're here, speak now. You see her anywhere? Nope. Okay. And I understand because there's a lot of really wonderful things going on tonight, but we're moving on. Oh my gosh. Margie. Margie November one. Okay, Margie, you got you got a color wheel and a palette. That'll be helpful for you. Now you can pull out those oils and, and actually work with them. Congratulations. Okay, that's that's it with, for now. And um, can you write that down, Sharon, that the these two little deals go to Margie November? She's one of our board members, but I think it's okay if she won. She's not part of this. I mean, she's- I agree. I, yeah. Okay, I'll unpin myself and get out of here. That, his putting the shirt in made such a difference in the painting. Let's see, let me spot. It really does. It gives him a place. It it, isn't it something? Wow. All of a sudden, his neck looks really, really good. I'm putting some. All right, George. Like some more, more color notes here. I don't mind putting in the highlights soon, early, because it's kind of like the lightest lights. Good idea to get the lightest lights, darkest darks in some space, because then that because everything is relative to that, to that, and you want to um, you you still have to look back and 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 think of the main masses and make sure that those are working because you don't want to uh, you know sacrifice the main masses uh, you know for the details because the main masses are what's going to make it look like like George now in here. There's a little, I'm just going to start, but I tend to start uh, probably exaggerating some of the um, colors. I'm going to add a little viridian to one of my little flesh mix and, and add that like right here. And that helps turn the face and, and it kind of goes down here a little bit. And then um, Wayne, Marilyn is wondering what brand of paint you're using. I use, um, I use Rembrandt. I use uh, Windsor Newton and um, I, I, some are old Holland and uh, Gamblin. And uh, yeah, I can tell you which brands, but the, the majority of them are Rembrandt, Windsor, Newton. And they're good professional quality. They work for me and they seem reasonably priced. Okay, so like here, this little thing. Now this here, I'm just gonna do a little detail. You see this, this little thing is, you know, that's a sharp line. So what, when, when I do, when I get into, Things like that. I go and I search for the right brush, which is an old, dirty old brush like this, you know, all beat up. And typically I would do this later, but I don't I don't want to uh, run out of time. And you just kind of like blend them back and forth and stuff like that. And it kind of helps you get it so that, you know, the, the colors will start blending better together. Now, as I look at George, I see that there's another little green note back 
here as he's kind of turning back. And I don't care if I exaggerate the green too much or not. Um, there's a lot of green coming in, a bluish green uh, coming in on his neck. If you look at his neck, you can see that's what that's, what, you know, seems to be a lot of green. I got a little too much light in there, but I'm going to wipe. Don't be afraid to wipe things away. Don't be afraid to use too much color, but don't let it, you know, be the whole story either. So he, he's, th this needs to, yeah, don't come out. This, this, this space kind of got lost in the, lost somewhere, so. Okay, so his, I'm gonna go in here and start doing this little, this little um, plane here, the nose, it kind of goes down there. And that's, that's a really red area, that, that brush is a little too, I try to use as big a brush as I can Maybe when I get back in to do the details, I might switch it out to a, I'll go in and switch to a smaller brush. I mean, I do use very small brushes, but at this stage I use pretty uh, good sized brushes. Now this is coming down here and there's a little, yeah, there's a little bit of right down this lip. There's a, there's a term for this, a little fat, fatty section that everyone has and um, so I'm trying to like get that in there. And the way to show that is to, uh, you know, I'm not, I'm not detailing it too much, just kind of indicating that it's, it's there. This, use a bright color right in here. I'm gonna go in with a little, uh, that's a little bit violet. So violet that I'm using a lizard and crimson and um, uh, ultramarine blue mixed together. And it gives you a nice violet that you can kind of like, a uh, you can adjust it very easily by just adjusting the quantities of the paints and colors. Um, this is pure transparent oxide red going right under his, his nose there. And it's, 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 it's a nice warm red. It kind of gives a little bit of uh, you know, depth or a, a color to it. And it kind of shows that, you know, the, the skin when, when, when the, Lights hitting here is, is doing a cast shadow, but it's also going, you know, if you put a flashlight on your fingers, you could see your blood through it. It's also doing a little bit of that in here. So, and I don't mind even going in and kind of exaggerating that. And this isn't even as close. So, Dwayne, this, this is oil, right? This is not a oil. Color. Oil. This is and, oil, yeah. And, and you did say, but I've forgotten which kind of paint you like. I'm sorry. Yeah, I, I only paint in oil. I've done acrylic, but it, it dries too fast for me. It's too hard to correct all my errors, so it's easier to use oil. What do you what do you use on it? Do you use linseed oil as well, or what do you use with well, it? Right now, I'm using stand oil, but stand oil is a little thicker than linseed oil. So if you stand oil, it's going to give you um, it's, it gives it more energy, more character to me because it, it actually shows the brush brush strokes in there. So. Um, because the paint sits up on it really nice. So like if I do a shirt, I don't know if I'm going like, no, to, I don't know if I need to do that, but like all this stuff here, you can see more texture when you use, um, that, that was a mistake, but that's okay. That's what painting's for. But it, it just gives you more texture on the brush strokes and a little more energy. You know, you gotta be, you, you've got to um, measure it I mean, not not do not get over over con oh, do too much of it because then it just looks like a bunch of um, you know brush strokes and you don't want that uh, you know blotchy look. So I'm going to uh, kind of define this nostril. This is in the shadows, but for some reason nostrils in the shadows always seem to be pretty light to me. It looks like it's getting a little light. I think a little light's bouncing over the snow, so it's hitting the top of that. This is obviously getting a lot of light. And then I'm going to um, take the transparent oxide red and uh, pop it in there, kind of define that. Now, there's a shadow here. There's a cast shadow from the nose here. And there's even I'm gonna go back to this fault, and it even shows like it kind of shows a little. It's kind of going like that. 
and then it's and then it goes back under here and this because the light's coming this way so it's hitting this it, it's hitting the top of the wing of the nose and then it goes back to light here and those top of the tip of his nose and it's going down there but there's also this reflective light coming up to hit the bottom of the nose because it's going here and it's bouncing up there so what i do i'm just going to go over and show you you know the main stuff i do here so i may not just so we could get done you know i could show you this now i may not finish this but i'm expecting but i'll take a little tiny brush here there's like a double eye uh pretty stiff brush and i'll go in here i have these glasses that are like 400 i'll get in really close so i can see it really close wow and uh you know i'm gonna just sometimes you got to fix your palm prints i you know i have a small stick but this is so you could now this is actually i just looked at Jordan, I was about to paint that. this is actually for some reason this this uh little under his nose it's reflected light is reflecting off his shirt because it's blue so you're gonna go in and, and just that's a little thick but that's okay then you go in here with this and you kind of get in a you know yeah kind of there so you can see how that kind of makes it um makes it come forward a little which is kind of what you want and also the um inside of the nostrils is also usually it's hitting the nose and the you know the wing of the nose inside of these nostrils and it's it, it often casts a kind of a, a red light so i kind of try to paint that with transparent oxide red and cad red to give it um it just gives it a little light and so there it looks whoops looks more real not so much on this side and then on um, here I'm gonna, you know, you, you look like like where his uh, down here is a pretty cool. So I'm gonna take a little, I have this white color called King's Blue. See, that's, that's the color of it, King's Blue. And I'm gonna mix that with a little bit of a warm flash and kind of uh, give it here, just kind of gonna help turn. That's, that's a little too warm. You gotta be careful with your warm and cools. You know, if, 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 if it's a warm light hitting you, the shadows are gonna be cool. If it's a cool light hitting, then the shadows are gonna be warm. So being aware of that's kind of important. So that kind of gives them a little more. The thing is, you know, it, you use these blues and stuff because it shows the veins, you know, it gives the impression that he's alive and kind of shows the veins there. And it's a little bit exaggerated. Um, Right here on his chin, there's, um, I'm kind of rushing because we have, you know, I want to get as much done as possible. So I don't rush a lot anyway. So right here, there's a little reflected light coming down from the bottom. I'm going to take this one and kind of highlight it a little bit. So it kind of looks like the, you know, you can see the reflection there and then He's got a little whiskers coming out of here, so I might lighten that up. And is this a church, I think? Yeah, turn that way. Yeah, that's good. Okay. You know what I think I'm gonna do is I'm gonna work on the on the lips a little bit. Um so I'm gonna mix his lips. I have no clue what color they are, but they look kind of, uh, you know, reddish magenta is kind of warm. So I'm gonna mix some alizarin crimson, uh, some uh, ultramarine blue, and a little bit of transparent oxide red in order to um, warm it up a little bit. That's a little, so they're gonna add a little white to that because it's a little, too 
That's a little, that's not the right color. We'll get there. I'm going to add, I'm going to really warm it up now. And yeah. That's good. That seems to be getting a little closer. There's a little reflected light coming off here, but I just kind of get the main shapes in here. And there's a little, you know, light coming in here. That's not. Not what I meant to do. Marilyn's asking where you got your 400 power magnifying glasses. Oh, uh, Amazon. Ah. Uh. Yeah. Amazon. They're just they're just reading reader glasses. They're really easy to find. So they help with these details. Now, right here, pop this. This is kind of coming here, and it's, it's getting a little bit green in here. The pad of this thing, and now it's getting super dark back towards. Yeah, his um, his left uh, lip there. So I'm gonna kind of get that. There's a little. Sorry. Gonna darken that up now. That's kind of popping down there. This is going over here. This is pretty, um, on George, this is pretty distinct. All my palm prints, I'll get rid of those later, but I don't want to use the mall stick. That's okay. As long as I'm not putting palm prints on his face, it's okay. So I'm gonna go in here and kind of like, look at that. Now I'm gonna to try to make this form turn. So it doesn't look like a flat line. And what I'm going to do to do that, I think, is I'm going to try my lithium crimson and um, uh, yellow, my uh, yellow there, yellow ochre, because it's uh, just kind of like go in and kind of blend that in there a little bit, kind of shove it out, kind of push the paint around. Sometimes it's best to do that with a smaller brush. Uh, this is a, this one, but the brushes I've been using are pretty um, stiff. This is a little uh, this is a little softer brush, so it's going to help me kind of get this little blending part in there. And and there's a here there's a crevice crease in here, and then it, there's a cast shadow, and then that goes out to that. And then that's pretty. And then this the light actually hits them closer up here. And then this is coming down here. There's, there's, this light's going like here and it's coming down there. And then it's tar it, it comes out and it's turning down. So this is a plane and it switches to another plane here. So you just have to be aware of those. Um, his lips are a little purple, but what I think I'm gonna do is, what time is it? I'm gonna go and start, leave this. For now, and I'm going to start working on his eyes. I think I have enough time to hit the eyes. Perfect timing. Janet Black says she'd like to see you do the eyes. Yeah, okay. I was just going to say. Cool. So his eyebrows are kind of um, greenish blue um, in the light. So I'm going to, um, and they've got this uh, wild little shape. They start about right here. And then you have to treat the eyebrows as though it were, as though it has planes, as though it's a form, because the light's hitting it up on top here. And I am, you know, exaggerating the blue here. So the light's hitting it up, up there and it's coming right, right across there. And then below that, 
know, there's a shadow in the eyebrow. So you just kind of, you, you're gonna do, do that. And it'll just, just think of trying to give it form. Um, do I have to lift your head a little bit? Yeah, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna go in and start doing, to paint the eyes, I usually just start with painting the lids. And the, the corner of his eyes about right there. It's going down here. So there's a there's a light hitting right around here. And this is uh there's a lot of paint there. So I'm gonna take one of my trusty uh cotton swabs and get that there. Sorry, when I when I'm concentrating on something, I don't finish my sentences. Um, up a little, George. Yeah, yeah. This has come all the way around there. This is going there. I'm, I'm wondering. There's a Sarah here. Is that Sarah Flesher? She's uh, muted, and I can't see who she is. Sarah. Okay. No answer. Okay. No. I'm going to go and get there some reflected light right in here. Up. It goes, starts right there and it goes there. There's a really reddish looking color. Maybe, probably not this red, but that's okay. Now I'm going to um, go ahead, I'm sorry, I'm going to um, We'll see what color is. George is kind of have brownish eyes, so I'm going to start with just dropping in, you know, the uh, things called the iris here. This is up here. Yeah, that's good. That, that, down a little. Yeah. Okay. Now his eyes are going. Okay. So this. Go try to get the right shape. It goes down here. And then the cash shadow down there. Now for the um get a smaller brush or, or another brush. Okay, George. The right whites of the eyes are never really white. They're there is are pretty dark, so I'm gonna like make this white kind of blue. And this one is getting a little this one is turning a little red on that side, so I'm gonna make that red. And then um there is this uh lid going here. So this gets a lot of light. So like 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 the eyeball is kind of shaped like um you know it's a circle. And then you got that here. And then you got that. This is going like this. But right here, there's this little edge. This might, might come out a little edge that goes down like that. And that always hits the light. So, um, you know, from above or even at you at 90 degrees. So it's always good to go in and uh, make that light like that. Because you can see the light's hitting that. And it just is going to give it some form um then you go with it so then i'm gonna put on my my big glasses this is this is green coming in through here a little bit bridge um, while, you're, while you're doing that, I wanted to mention Kay Zettelmeyer is our guest next month. Oh, great. Those who are watching. It's... Now, the, these little folds, bags under his eyes, whatever you want to call them, are they're, they're a form too. They're coming out, then they're going down. And then when they go down, it's given like a little purplish, bluish shadow. So, you know, they kind of form in through there. So they're a little, actually, they go more down like about that much, but I'm going to use the asphalt to, to get this because it's, I don't have the angles right on. This is more like coming across there, Otto. And his eyebrows are there. So 
Uh, the lid. Okay, now I'm gonna go in and just kind of detail the eye. Sometimes for some reason I always just detail the eyes out. So with the, with the time left, I'm gonna to try to do that. Um, this is, uh, I'm gonna use, I got an old cane here for a mall stick. So this little eye is kind of grounded in there. This coming up like that. This is, and that comes over, and then there's another little, there's a little cast shadow coming from this lid down here. So you got to shape that. And this is actually looks more like that's actually a lot darker. So I'm gonna um let me see there, George. We're almost done, George. A little bit of uh, magenta in here. Works out well. Kind of exaggerate a little bit. I'm gonna um, take this and kind of smooth this out a little bit. Uh, and I'm gonna go do his irises. I'll just use that. There. The, the the one thing about eyes is you know there's kind of the color is kind of in the middle and it's dark, almost black on the edges of the irises. This a lot of times and. Then you go in and I just use um ivory black for the pupils. And the thing is you don't want to like put a big hole in there like that. You need to like uh, you know have it like blend in a little bit. And this kind of blends in. Another thing to realize is that there's always, as a rule anyway, the lights above always is true, it's a true thing. There's always the cast shadow in the whites of your eyes. So you, you you draw that darker in there or you make the whites. Let me see George there. Uh, little thing, so this goes like this. So that, I, I'm gonna make that area a little darker here to show this cat. What that does is it kind of always makes it look real because it's casting light. It's casting a shadow down there. On um, this corner of the eye, it's always, there's a, there's always, I, I forget the name of this little thing that pops out here, but there's always a little red. So it's good to pop a little red in there. Um, I'm going to uh, go there, get those corners a little bit. Uh, this is going to come down here. You can kind of indicate. Okay, so this is, Little more of the whites of the eyes in here. Now I'm going to go in and add a little brighter color in here just to give it some luminosity. Uh, now that the pupil needs to go up here. Now, another thing if you have a shadow here on the whites of the eyes, you also need a shadow on the iris. Because it, so this this should always be dark. This is often the same color as the appears to be the same color as the pupil on it. Then what you want to do is, uh, what time is it? Okay, I'm going to um grab another brush here and all right, try to take a little bit. Maybe I need to do them. Sometimes just adding a few strands. You don't. You don't have to. Obviously, you can't draw every hair. You can try, but if you add a few little tiny little strands, it looks like there's hair. Um, I'm not. Sometimes, if you add a little. Let's see, George. 
finish up by doing the darks or something. So kind you know, of you, right. you still have 10 minutes or we can even grant you a little bit more, but while you're doing that, I'm going to bring out the um, that other. Okay. Um, I know what you mean. Painting yeah. that you did. Okay. Yeah. Right. Okay. Yeah. You go ahead. Okay. Well, no. you can you can keep talking. You know, I'll just okay. interrupt you. Okay. Um, I hope I'm making sense. I'm just kind of chatting here. So <laughs> there's too much paint here to get the right color in here. So I'm going to delete some of the paint in there. And I'm going to go in and redraw that with the asphaltum color and try to get that. This kind of comes down here and it goes all the way down like that. And it goes there. And this is more of a dark flesh tone. It's not red like that, so. It goes there. And then, um, this is a, The eye actually is about there. We're going to, this is a, you want to tell us about, I don't know if you can actually talk and uh, talk about something else. Uh, yeah, right? that's, um, that's Bird Cook, who's the, you know, he just passed away, away recently, which is sad. But um, he was my art teacher at Ventura College 30 some odd years ago. I hadn't seen him for about 30 years, but ran into him at some OI studio artist event. So I asked him if I could take his, do his portrait. And he said, yes, we went over to his place and shot some photos and that's the, the portrait of Gerd. So this is a G clay print of the portrait. Okay, this is good. How cool. big was the uh, 30 by 40, it was horizontal. And did he own the original? No, someone bought it. Um, it, it was hanging at the ga gallery, the Ojai Valley Arts Gallery. And uh, so, and it was purchased. They didn't know who Gerd was or anything. So, but they just liked it. And now they're in the corner. Mm-hmm. They bought a self-portrait I did of I'm myself. Stop, stop sharing. Can everybody? Oh, wow. So I'm going to stop sharing that, and then I'm going. That's what you'll win, and Great I'm going to. Or somebody's going to win it. Right. I'm going to need you to like. Yeah. You only got about eight or nine minutes, so. So let's see, I'm going to go back to that. So let's see here. Hang in there, George. Mm -hmm. Okay. And grab these plans and stuff. This is um. Can everybody see Duane right now? Yeah. Yes. Okay. Good. Yep. And then I'm about to share this wheel just because it's so silly. There. The silliest thing I do, and I love it. It's so silly. <laughs> okay. Okay. Here we go. You can see it. There we go. Spinning to win the Jacle of Gerd, which is framed. Good. Really beautiful. <laughs> Yay, Janet. Well, you won it. Um, is Janet, oh, oh, is Janet oh. still here? I got to finish this up. I hope so. Uh, yeah. Yes, Janet is still here. Yes, I am still well, here. Janet, congratulations. Are you happy? I am. <laughs> I love that painting. I've it's, seen the original. Isn't that wonderful? Boy, that is really cool. It is. Well, congratulations. You're Thank you very much. Yeah, so you'll be able to get that. I think we'll just leave it at the office, right? At the uh, Bell Arts, you can pick it up there. Sure, that's fine. Yeah. Okay, George. There you go. Okay. So I'm gonna, sometimes you could just make little highlights by just scratching away a little bit. So that works. I'm trying to define this lid here and um, Gonna knock in this little corner right here to find that. Put in a little color in that iris. And I'm gonna knock in, put in a little 
the little highlight here. Just this always kind of is the fun part. This, break this, your concentra this. Uh, sorry, Dwayne, don't want to break your concentration, but we have a, a question. How do you decide to paint orientation, landscape or portrait? It, it, you know, it just depends on the subject, um, I think. But normally I paint um, portrait um, as a rule. I don't, I don't really think about it that much, I guess. But, um, but normally that's what I do. So, but like with George here, if it was, uh, you know, it, it kind of works as just a straight on portrait for a face. You know, if he was leaning on a chair with his arm up or something, we could show that body and get a little negative space in here, which might add something to it. Um, so I'm just gonna leave the eye, and don't, don't, you can interrupt at any time. I'm just trying to get that done. This, uh, there's always a little kind of warm or light spot right on the lips here. Can you, can you get in tight? Are you probably can't? Yeah, Debbie, Deborah can't. Uh, yeah, so these little tight, they call really it get in. like new skin right here because I don't know why, but you're, you know, you're, this is where your flesh turns into your lips, which I think is made out of cartilage is not made out of what your flesh is made out of that much I do know but uh so this there's always that little light that just hits it and you got to be really careful with it you don't like draw it you just dab it in there and so um anyway that's that's the best I can do in an hour and uh, hour and 40 minutes I think typically I'd spend another you know hour and a half on this or what I might do is I'd let it dry first and come back in a few days and then um and then uh work from there so and what I would do is I would go in and put in like right over all right I can see you can leave it there right here I would kind of like do the you know indicate the, the little wrinkles he has and I'd probably go in and you know and Mm -hmm. and try to create the form in those and, and you can't do it really just like I did you could start there but then you got to go in really like touch it and cover it up a little bit so it, it looks real well, and go also ahead. go ahead no no go ahead go ahead I said another good thing about the forehead wrinkles is they um George yeah they look here they look they when they come here they start turning down so it also helps to find the form so uh and then I would I'd probably like these little shadows, I'd probably, uh, you know, clear, make those work a little better, refine them a little bit. Well, it's a beautiful portrait and you can keep on working if you like, we can ask questions. Um, also, I was wondering if you do wind up noodling it more and finishing it or however you do, I've been shooting still shots, screenshots all the way along. Yeah, so I'll, 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 I'll send them to you. Okay, and then what we'll do is we'll we'll upload it. Oh my gosh, I didn't do the live streaming on Facebook. My goodness, oh well. Um, anyway, so we'll we can actually post the series a few photos that will show your progression. We have a okay. question from Kenny Dow. Dwayne, how do you make the characteristic flares or sprays of light that we see on your paintings? How do you do that? Uh, well, I. Yeah, I, I would. I, I tell you, when when I get to the point where I feel like I am uh, close to done, where I got all the basic forms done, the planes, the the larger masses in sh shape. At that point, I kind of I feel like I can go in and and do that sort of thing. So I just that's usually late at night when that happens, and or you get frustrated and you don't care anymore. But I, I mean, I'm being somewhat facetious, but not really, because it's, um, you know, it, they, they just go and say, oh, I'm going to try this. I'll, I'll try this. I can erase it if it's not working. I had my, I'm going to get rid of my pompers. I'll, I'll show you one thing that I, I've been, when I did my dance series that I did a lot, is I would take a, um, I think that now, I'd take a, uh, a palette knife, and just, like, this is just pure vermilion. And I'll go here. And I might just, you know, 
Well, I know you can but I would go in here and kind of like actually draw the form. It kind of makes things pop a little bit. Pop, I don't like that word, but it, it, it kind of brings a little liveliness to it. So mm -hmm. that's, you know, so I, I, I do that. And then, and I might switch it to say this um, uh, scarlet rose color, like down here or something. And it's, oh. you know, it's, not, it's, it's nothing that you'll see in real life, but it does kind of add. But if you look at it, you, you, you know, it doesn't take the, uh, anything away from it looking real. So, you and know, I might- like Reflective light or something. It, yeah, yeah. yeah. You could make up whatever story you want, but you see how that kind of brings that forward? that little bit there and hang then on, i might take hang some on close. Um, hang on close there while you're at it let me grab that picture yeah that's cool um and then even with the you know a, a good color to do that like with a shirt i might do you know because you know I, I go over the edges this kind of let me move this stick you know and, he's a very so, stoic model you know he's yeah he's a, yeah he's, he's what does he do in life? He's a doctor, right? Yeah, he was. A, he he used to be a construction guy. Now he's happily retired. Yeah, oh, that is really beautiful. I love the angle. This this angle, seeing it straight on. You know, we haven't had the opportunity to see it like that. Actually, the light that you just put in that that blue tone on his shoulder really, really is beautiful. That's a yeah. I always do that at the, at the very end. Um, I always throw in a little something like that because I think it just brings, um, you know, it, it just brings, you know, life to, to it. Um, another example, I might just go in and like on his hair here, I might go in and throw in like just a little red there or something, you know, and oh, nice, you know, and the thing is you have to understand that you could easily fail if you get <laughs> if you do too much of this you know that's and so it has to be subtle like that's probably enough for, for this um and, and and i'll probably wind up going over those and go back in when i finish it so i'll probably as i said probably spend another hour and a half well, hour and a half on this we'll have to take a picture of george ourselves i but, was wondering um, if we could um or actually somebody asked if george could come and and uh stand next to the painting now this is a wonderful shot. That's beautiful, Deborah. You become a real camera woman. Yeah, let me. Uh, why don't you take a picture of George, Deborah, with the light on him first? She wants him to I know, and then we'll say, well, this is for my reference. Oh, so, sorry. Wait, wait, not wait, wait, George. Wait, let me slip around there. Okay, yeah, look at look at the top. Look at me. Look, look good, yeah. Yeah, make a couple. Boy, that's really, really nice. That's a gorgeous. Oh, well, thank you. Close up. It's just gorgeous. We've been looking at it from that slight angle, and it's. And yeah, it it's really cool. tough to, you know, it's tough to film that way. I mean, well, it, it looked cool, but this, you know, to see what you were actually looking at from the angle, the perspective that you had is uh, really. Yeah. Oh, the light reflection. I was, I was thinking of a painting one. You know, spending five hours on it earlier this week, and then when you guys weren't looking, just switch it out. But I didn't do that. <laughs> anyway, you want George here next to it? Uh, yeah, on, that, would be, that would be that great. Would be, and then we'll get one of just George yeah, and him and his portrait. Yeah. But then you do. Okay. Okay. So yeah. there we go. Okay. Hang on. Let's get. Hold on. Yeah, you can Wait, see Hold on. We also have a question about stop, stop, um, no. your inspirations, well, well, Dwayne. Who who has inspired you as an artist? What other artists have inspired you, Dwayne? Um well, you know Richard Schmidt is a great artist that I love. I'm sure you've heard of him. He wrote probably the best art book ever called uh Alla Prima, All I Know About Painting. And I would uh Suggest so everyone interested in painting landscape or anything, read that book. Um, there's a guy named Daniel Sprint who lives in Colorado and he's a fantastic painter. John Singer Sargent. Uh, Sharon, hold on, hold on. Sharon, could you put some of this in the chat? The uh, I will. The, uh, the uh, Dwayne's gonna cream, uh, what was the name of it again? Yeah, I'm going to have to ask Dwayne to repeat. I know. Can it's you called, repeat? His it, it, name's Richard Schmidt. 
richer than S-C-H-M-I-D. And his book is called Alla Prima, Everything I Know About Painting. And if you look at his work, you'll be amazed. Um, Daniel Sprick is another one. John Singer Sargent is another inspiration. Um, William Ray, who judged our show last time we had it. I love his work. I have to of his paintings. Um, uh, William Ray? How do you spell William Ray? William Ray. Oh, William w -R -A -Y? W-R-A-Y. And um, what's the second one? Right. Okay. Uh, Daniel Daniel, Daniel Sprick, S-P-R-I-C-K. S-P-R-I-C-K. Yeah, he's a great artist. Um, I like Sorolla and Fetchin. You know, Sorolla was a, you know, I think of the 18th, no, he's a 19th century painter. But um, how do you spell how do you spell how do you spell, oh, well, how do you spell that name? Sorolla. Um, so S O R O L L A. Let's oh, see, see here. here. And then the other one. Th this is this is Sarola. Wow, beautiful! Wow. Yeah, he he's he's a great John Singer Sergeant too. When was his? What oh, year? Yeah, John Singer Sergeant. Um, oh, you mentioned him, and I, were they contemporaries? Um. No, I, I think Sirola came after him. Lucian Freud, I mean, I can name him off. There's Lucian Freud, you know, you know Lucian Freud? Oh, yeah. He just died a couple of years ago. He's, he's an amazing painter. Uh, there is uh, Anders Zorn. I have my books here, so Andrew he's a great painter, Anders Zorn. And um, Fetchin was a Russian painter. I like him. Raffin also. But what was that last one? Fetchin and then what? Who? Uh, Raffin, R E P I N. I think I have a book. He's, he's a, yeah, he, this is a, a book of his. Wow. Wow. Yeah, he's, he took more than an hour and a half on this one. Lighter. Wow. Yeah. Your portrait really stands up, though. It really looks looks really. Oh, I appreciate that. Thank you. Yeah, I, mm -hmm. I wish I didn't make George look so mean and mad. <laughs> I don't think he looks sitting in it, but I but but I want to thank George for doing this. I imagine it's not too fun. We he was actually sitting for about, you know, when we started about since about four thirty. Gosh, so. I wish I had a gift for him. I I don't know that he wants an, any art supplies, and we've already given away your prints. So. Uh, he's fine. I'm. Thank, I'm gonna, thank I'll, you. I'm, thank I'm you so take much, him out George. For, Whiskey. There you go. Whiskey. Can you can you, can you uh, show a picture of George again? I'll make note on him. Show a picture of George. There we are. Hey, right there. Hang on there. All right, George, you're on camera. Yeah, hang on right there. Oh, look at him. He says, "I don't want to do that." Okay. No. <laughs> Straight eyes. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Well, George, thank well, you so much. That was great. Yeah. Well, thank you. For, I, I was, as I think I told you, Michelle, I was kind of nervous because I've never done anything like this. So um, it, it, I, I, it turned out okay. So I'm happy I yeah. did this. So I'll feel I, better I'm, next time. Yep, I'm impressed. Yeah, nervousness becomes you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you don't want to actually have to go there, but it Michelle is. Michelle, yeah. Thank that? you, everyone. Thank you, Michelle. Yeah. You're welcome. Thank you. Thank you. Yay. You can take your mutes off if you want. We'll just give Thank you some applause. Thank you, Thank you all. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you, everyone. Yeah. That's a wonderful. Just leave that <laughs> shot on. Everyone stay in there. So I appreciate everyone coming to view. Thank you for taking a look and for your questions. Yeah, and thank you. Thank you to uh, BAA for footing the bill because we, we like to pay the people who come on and uh, give you Absolutely. a little. Absolutely. Oh, I know you didn't want to take it, but. Um, we're forcing it because we we appreciate what you do, Dwayne. Well, thank you. Yeah. So, and we appreciate your donation too. I mean, that that's very generous. No, I'm happy to do that. So. But yeah, and so thanks, board of directors from uh, BAA, because you voted that we could do that, and um, and uh, Joe Osborne and Sh and Sharon for all the things that you've been doing to keep this thing together. Is there anybody who has any more questions, or is there somebody who's got a 
a show, an exhibit going on that. Uh, like Kenny Dolly in the uh, in the chat is asking Dwayne if he likes George Breitner. I don't think I've heard of that name. George Breitner. That Kenny. Yeah, uh, George Hendrick Breitner. I'll look him up. That does not sound familiar. So yeah, I'll look him uh, up. the uh, uh, you know 1900s, early 1900s. Okay. He died in 1923, but he's very, very like like singer sergeant and. Uh, oh, okay. Yeah, I'm could, sure. Yeah, I'm sure that like I would like, like yourself. Would look has, at him. Yeah, he has that tremendous. Up. He has that tremendous uh, lightness. Uh, you know, transparency, transparent yeah. lightness, you know, that he gets into his paintings. Remarkable, mm -hmm. remarkable, and does a lot of portrait work. Good, I'll take a look. That sounds great. What's the name again? Boy, Deborah, you really did a nice job with the camera. Uh, George, uh, George yeah. Breitner. Yeah. George Hendrick Breitner, B R E I T N E R. Okay. Uh, in the chat. You can see she comes over scratched by back once. Yeah. So right now, um, I mean, people can hang out here and, and just chat, but remember to go over to uh, artsventura.org because there are other artists doing some things and also check out all the different exhibits. We put up a lot of exhibits and a lot of our artists are showing. They're, they're showing on the Arts Ventura website and you can actually go there now that we're kind of open semi at uh, Spice Topia, Very Ventura, the Harbor Gallery, and soon at Times, even Studio 99 at Bell Arts. So pretty cool. And if you want to be on our email list, just go ahead and put your name in the chat with uh, your email and we'll just send you emails on what we're doing. Because And um, next and next month, uh, Kay Zettelmeyer is going to be, oh, Margie, you yes, wanted I to want say to something? Thank you, Michelle, for doing this, You're doing a great job. Uh, Oh yeah, Michelle, I want to thank you too. Thanks for uh, asking me to do this and all the help along the way. So that was great. Yeah, you make it easy. You make it easy, <laughs> Dwayne. It's so cool to have you. You, you, you make me look like a shining star because look at what you did. That is just beautiful. It's good, Kenny. Okay. And, no, and, and thank you. And thank you, Marge. Is Marge. To have somebody like Dwayne thanks you. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. I mean, I've been contesting okay. this for several days. This feels good. Uh, yeah. I love I, 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 I really That's appreciate nice. my thanks. I wonder. Yeah, my aunt, Dwayne, taking the time and, and paint me. That's kind of, yeah, well, you know, it's really kind of nice. You, Very nice. Well, I'm glad you're here. You've been immortalized, huh? Yeah. Yeah. Exactly right. yeah pretty cool. Yeah, <laughs> you know, uh, Deborah, is there any. Is there any way Deborah could get into the shot? Deborah, if you locked on the camera, can you get in there too? Deborah? Hi. Oh, yay. <laughs> Thank cool. you, Deborah. Yeah. I have to show you yeah. oh, you're welcome. Uh -huh. I have what to show it? you these little guys. Oh, oh how cute. Oh, my God. And it's not <laughs> very hard to maneuver the camera with a long pod because they've been sleeping at our feet. And this one's vicious. <laughs> This is Bishop. Okay, right. Hold on, oh, hold on, wait, hold on. Oh, wait, hold him up. Wait, hold, wait, wait, hold him up again. Hold on. Okay, good, good. Oh, Bishop. Oh, 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 with God. our family. Of course. I didn't get, oh, wait, yes. Oh, that's a good one. I got to get that, yeah. Okay, I'll set that. <laughs> okay, that's. Oh, sorry. Okay. Was that good? We put him down before, oh. it's fine. Yeah. Thank you, everyone. That's okay. I got it. I, I got it. Dwayne will bring yeah, all the you. love with comments after. Yeah. I did a. Um, I did a. Uh, you remember to say I did a fast face of George about um, three months ago, so I thought I would show that to you. Oh, hey, can you put this in the light? Bring this to the light. Yes, yes, yes. That was about three oh, hours, and that was on a really slick surface. Wow. Wow. Wow, that's pretty. Mm -hmm. That that's was pretty uh, before he shaved. <laughs> <laughs> I oh, yeah. 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 Pretty, pretty, pretty wild. Yeah. Yeah. 
And yeah. he always wow. wears the glasses. Yeah. Anyway. All right, everyone. Any questions? Very cool. Yeah, when are you going to teach us? Ah. I'll, I'll work on that. Here's a <laughs> here's a painting that my girlfriend did. Here's a painting. Hold on, wait. Don't move. What? Let's see here. Go ahead, Kenny. This is a painting that my girlfriend did while we, while she was watching and learning from. Oh, uh, let's see. Oh, wow. Hey. Well, you that mind, I like that. That's it's good. A, a drawing. Oh, oh wow. Nice. Yeah. That's yeah. Let's do a screen share of that. You want to do a screen share? That's, oh, there you go. That's really That's, good. good. Yeah, that I, I good spotlighted it. It's my girlfriend, Gina Thomas. It's, she doesn't. Uh, yeah. She, she doesn't do any portrait work, and she's been listening and watching and sketching while you did your. Painting. That's great. That looks great. Oh. So, uh, you know. Thank you start. for sharing. Oh. Yeah. yeah. Fantastic. Very nice. Yeah. And Margie, did you get anywhere with what you were doing, or uh, did you? No, no. I it? just took a lot of notes. Oh, I see. Okay, well, that's cool. I get it. Yeah, okay. Here's my George. Well, wait, somebody said they had a George. Sorry, the spotlight. There oh, we go. Jesper's got one, yeah. Oh, nice. Nice. That's nice. nice. Woohoo. Where's, where's your George? I didn't see it. Laura Jesperson. Oops. Get on the screen. I highlighted Laura. Hi. Looks oh, good. Oh, that's great. Hi. That looks fantastic. That's great. Never find is yours, but <laughs> well done. No, that's great. That's great. Thank you. Immortalized. George, what's your last name? Yes. Watkins. 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 And how do you, oh. Just George. And then W A T. Laura. Hello, Laura. Okay. Anybody else have any work that they were doing while Dwayne was painting? Nobody oh. else? Laura, can you unmute yourself and say it again so I can take it a closer shot of that? Hi, here I am. Here's George. Maybe Sharon can pin. Well, I'll, I'll spotlight. I'll spotlight okay. Laura again. Okay. Here's now, George. Did you show mine? Hang yes, on. it is. You did? Yeah. Not they fast. They, they took a screenshot of it. Now. Right. Laura, yes. Are you still painting <laughs> yeah. with uh, the Wednesday That's dinners? That's great. That That's is so great, Laura. good. That's beautiful. Yeah. Yeah. Laura, thank you. Yes. Are you still painting with the Wednesday painters? Um, no, because of COVID, but we hope to get back to it. Oh. The plain airs. Okay. That yeah. Helps. Thanks, Sharon. You can. Un you, Laura, are you using oils there? That's very no, nice. acrylic. That's acrylic. Wow. Well. Oh, so you, must be working, you must be working very fast. Yes. <laughs> that's <laughs> that's kind of very good. colors as I need it. Bye, Janet. I see, yeah. see you later. Yeah. Yeah. So don't forget to go check out. There's a few things I don't. Sometimes they hang out and talk over on the Arts Ventura site. But, um, uh, Thank you, Dwayne. You're welcome. Thanks. Yeah. yeah thanks. Dwayne. Thank you. Thank you very much. I think we'll just so, head out. We're going to go eat dinner. Yep. Okay, bye. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Thank you for all of you guys. Great job. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you, Dwayne. Thanks, Dwayne. Bye-bye. Thank you. Bye-bye, everybody, Thank and you. thanks for attending. Yep. Come see yeah. Kay Zettelmeyer oh. next month. Yeah, looking forward to that one. Yeah. Yep. All right. So it worked Good out, job, everybody. We, we did it. At artsventura.org uh, or dot .com? Com. dot com okay. it's, it's, a, that. it's dot com well, because I'm, somebody ooh, I'm saying that and I sound somebody, certain and all, yeah. all of a sudden I'm not <laughs> um well, but you're you're right it is dot com two. because somebody is swooped com? in okay and they got my dot org can you believe it yeah yeah I, I used to have both and then they somebody yeah. took it I, from Hong Kong you know I guess yeah they I didn't where are you living happen. now, Michelle? You know, that's what happens. Michelle. Oh, where by do you the way, Janet, now? this is um, Karen Taylor. I'm in Ventura right now. 
Janet, you and you were the president of the club for a while, weren't you? No, not of, me. Uh, San Fernando Valley. I was the newsletter person. I did the yes, newsletter. I, yes, oh. but I think it's the end now. So anyway, with the San Fernando Valley Art Club, where I also met Sharon Weaver, our guest last time. So Janet is was yeah, that was a wonderful newsletter. That really, it is we're running around keeping that going. You can be that because she runs. No, they, they the closed that club down. Us. You know that, right? Now. but that was what it was. Wow, I yeah, they closed yeah, that club down. That. And and that's Sharon. If you wonder what Michelle? my inspiration for keeping these things going, and uh, yeah, I heard, I heard, I heard. Oh, that's okay. why I was just saying I that wasn't my sure inspiration for yeah. keeping the BAA going. Right. Yeah, no, I did hear and I heard when it happened too. I was very sad over it. And I, there are many clubs that, you know, do have an older population. And um, so we're working hard to make sure we're relevant and that, you know, there are things that we can do for artists because I think it's always relevant. It's if you can stay up with what the needs are, you know, in times yeah. of needs, it's pretty hard. So, but well, where, yeah, people I, were like, so you had, where are you living? I live in Thousand Oaks. Where are you? Living? Thousand Oaks. Oh, you, yep. Yeah. So I moved, I couldn't really go down to the the valley anymore. You know, it was too hard to get there at night. And, uh, you know, cause I was in the watercolor group. Yeah, is Malie, what, what's she up to? Was she still there or had she already- Oh, she moved to, uh, she moved to another state with her husband. They retired. I forgot what state they were moving to. Utah but, or something, yeah. They yeah, something Utah. like that. Yeah, and how about Dory Marler? Is she around? I don't know. Yeah, she's. You know, I looked on her uh, Facebook page, and it didn't say anything, you know, specific. So I don't know if she's still alive. Oh, no. so. yeah, she was such a lovely person. Oh yeah. Yeah, we had she, a good yeah. group. How about Terry? Terry. Uh, Terry, which one, Terry? Uh, Terry, who did all of the publicity and marketing stuff. Uh, uh, Terry. Terry P. He also had a place here in Ventura, although I don't ever see him. Um, he oh Terry, did, uh, uh, the the man, yeah, the guy, right. yeah, yeah. Terry. Yeah, he died. What? Yeah. Really? Yeah, he had uh, like jaw cancer. Oh my he, goodness! You talking about the guy that lived in Ventura and? Uh, yeah, he went yeah. back and forth, and he he was the one yeah. who always sent out the things that you did. He sent them out as a publicity package and got newspaper articles written about the club and just kind of, well, that's, I mean, I'm sad when you hear any of it, but I don't know. I kind of thought he'd live forever. Yeah. So I just texted you with the names of the winners and their prizes. I'm yeah. going to have to get going. Okay, sweetheart. I love you. I'm so glad that you are. Um, you're, you're a marvel. Thank I'm, you so much for all you do for BAA. And wonderful that, yeah that and thank everybody else here for attending yeah come I, next month thank you yeah so i think i'm going to go over to the artsventura.org website and what they else have, people they are doing have, yeah they have a zoom talk and uh, janet you should go on over there too and i'll see you over there yeah i will okay cool. arts nice. ventura yeah is there a hyphen or anything uh, no a-r-t-s-v-e-n-t-u-r-a.org -A okay. and you'll see the first friday uh, virtual first Friday and just follow that and then there will be some type of a, a link and probably only a couple of people there now but you never know and um oh once, because it's late yeah can you text me your number you got did you write down my number from the yes chat? I did okay cool yeah text it and yeah then, I'll uh, I'll call you okay good and then, I'll, yeah. and then you'll get my number okay uh, good. unless you want me to do it uh is the chat still open yeah, it is. I, it'll be open for a minute as long as we're okay. here. Yeah, me as well. Yeah, it was fun. Did you have a good time tonight? I hope. Yeah, I love these things. You know, it reminds me of things that I used to do. I don't do them anymore. <laughs> yeah. Well, one of the things that, you know, the inspiration of just how smoothly the San Fernando Valley Art Club used to roll, you know, they really they had a lot. And when I became president of that, it was already a working machine. You guys already had it down, you know, and all I had to do is just get up there and MC kind of. Yeah. It was nice to see Sharon and it's 
sad. I always see uh, Diane Nelson Gold's uh, Facebook page. I never have deleted it as a, as one of my friends. So when I go oh. and invite people, um, I see that and it's like, oh man. I know. Yeah. He just, uh, he just, uh, her husband, uh, he's still trying to, uh, you know, promote himself a lot on Facebook and, you know, just sending emails out and, uh, you know, he just talked about it today. Oh, did he? Yeah. You know, uh, she was an inspiration for one of the songs he wrote, you know. Oh, yeah, I bet. I'm sure it's hard to let let that go. You don't, you know, she, she'll always be part of his life, you know. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Some people never get over that stuff, right? Well, no. Don't you think? Right. I mean, you know, hopefully it doesn't break his heart every day, but just to have her you know, her present, I think, you know, that's an inspiration for him, you know. Yeah. 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 Um, I, I have friends who, you know, they've lost people. I've lost people and um, you just, um, you know, keep the love that you had for him alive and you get kind of used to it. I don't mean that I like it, you know, but people go. But, well, so, it's good when you, you have uh, something, uh, to replace it with, I mean, just your memories, but you know, if you keep moving on and not dwell on it, right. you know. Yeah. So yeah. who's this Diane's iPad? Diana's iPad, Diane is, is maybe Diane is still here. Maybe the uh, the computer is still just on, but she's not there. You know who that could be? Not me, I don't know. Uh, I tried to watch yeah. Sabrina, so, Sharon so you, the other day. Yeah, Sharon's, we, if you go to, we've, we archive, oh, darn, well, look at that, I'm going to just turn.